hey welcome back so before we go into putting this inside a container uh, using PHP desktop so that it runs like an application I want us to add something to the dashboard here because the dashboard is kind of empty if you come to the admin area and you just reach here so the dashboard usually is for just displaying information about uh, what's going on with the website. For example, how many users do you have? How many products do you have? How many sales do you have for today or total sales from the beginning, from the start to the end? You can really put whatever you want here. So I'm just going to put a few boards here so that you can have an idea of how to do that. So let's add a few here. So let me close these files here. And let's go to dashboard view so admin view okay so we don't really have a dashboard view now do we so what i'll do is default when nothing is selected uh let's um ba -ba -ba. okay wait a second let me just copy this and put it here on the default and that will be dashboard dashboard okay let's create that file right here in the admin views refresh new file save and i'll just name it dashboard like this yes done so this is a Dash board. That's not how you write board, is it? Just so I can see some text there. So let me try that. Yeah, this is a dashboard. So at least we have something here. So let's start with users, products, and sales. So we already have the icons here, but let's just design some boxes here. So what I'll do is let's use Bootstrap. Let's make use of the bootstrap that we have. So this div is going to be a, has a class of row. So what row does is it makes sure that whatever divs you put in here, they will be on the same row. They don't go one after the other. So let's create some more divs, which will contain some data. So in this one, I want, let me put an H5 and say, uh, total users for example mm -hmm. and let me add some classes in here so i want this to have a certain width so i'll use column in here and i'll say column now bootstrap has 12 columns so if i put 12 here it will mean this whole thing will be 12 columns long so what i'll do is i'll put a border so we can see it and then I'll call, I'll say rounded so that it is slightly rounded corners. So I'll refresh and this is what you see. You see total users, it goes all the way up to the end. Now I will put some padding as well all around of four. It's not four pixels, it's just this one, two, three, four. And this is what you get for this total users, that padding. But I want it to only take four columns so i'll say four like this okay so if i refresh it only takes four columns then i can have one more one more so there are three four columns in 12 so four times three is 12. so if i say three columns then i can fit four of these here okay there we go now of course i may need some margins as well i'll just say margin two so that it's not so big mm -hmm. Now I can then duplicate this like so, and then you will see them one after the other. Total users, total users, another one, another one. And this will be responsive because if I go to responsive view over here, you will see that uh, it's like this, right? The only problem is when it's small like this, I want it to cover the whole size like that. So I can tell it that from the point it gets to the medium range, it should be three. Otherwise, it will go down to, because it's mobile first. So when I do this, it will be like that. Let me 
do the same here, MD3, like that. So mobile first design, and this is going overboard too much. Let me reduce some of these things. Maybe the padding shouldn't be so big, forcing it to get squeezed. Um, no, 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 that's not what I needed. Four was cool. Where is the problem? Is it the margin? Uh, what's going on? Yeah, me not, me not like this. I think there's uh, something going on here with this outer thing. That's what's causing the problem. Anyway, uh, but this is the idea, like that. Oh no, that's not really what's going on, is it? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's not it. So let's try a bigger margin. Maybe margin four. Would that work? Would that help? No. Actually, the margin is what is causing problems. So what I want, maybe, let's put margin Y so that it's only on the top and the bottom. Okay, so that works better. It's too much. Let's put two. Mm -hmm. Okay, pretty good. You can put shadows if you want as well. So we can say shadow, a small shadow there. Yeah, maybe they look nice with shadows. But yeah, something like this. But I think when you put shadows, borders are not so cool anymore. If you want the shadow to be small, you can do shadow small. If you want it large LG, let's try shadow small. But usually when you put a shadow, uh, you don't need the border. So let's remove the border like this and use shadows maybe like that. You know, it's really up to you what you want to do. I think in this case, we are better off with borders. Okay, so this is what we have. And now I want to put my, um, my icons here. So I want to put an eye and then put a class of icon here and look at what I have. So I have FA, FA user, like that, okay. Okay, so there's an icon, total users, but I want it slightly bigger. So what I'll do is I'll say font size, I'll try 20. Yeah, let's try that. Doesn't change a thing at all. Okay, so let's do it the old fashioned way and add a style and say font size. <laughs> what have I done? Font size 30 pixels. Let's try that. Okay, much better. Something like this, total users. Mm -hmm. So I'm not really a good designer. Uh, I'm sure you have, as you have seen by now. So you can go ahead and instead of watching me do these designs, you can go ahead and design how, how you want things. So let's look at uh, product. What if I inspect the element, I want to get this hamburger copy out HTML because that's the one I want to use here. Let me paste. I just want to get this FA hamburger. And put it here. Okay. And total products. And then finally total, you can put total sales if you want. It's up to you. Total sales. And What's the icon on that? Let's check it out. Inspect. Uh, Money B Wave. So copy that and put it in here. Pretty good. So let me close that and let's refresh. Okay, so I have total sales, blah, 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 etc. etc. So I want a I think this I want to justify this content so I can say justify in the center justify content center I hope that works ah there we go it works so there we go 
and if you want um, let's put on these divs let's put a style I'm going to say cursor pointer actually I don't need this I can just put links if I want them to be pointers here but this is just for the user's information right so here I will put these like so and then from there I will go down here and put an h1 or h2 and then put some numbers let's put a number like 10 just for yeah so there we go so total users total products total sales and then now all you need is to actually get those values and put them here and to do that you just need to read from the let's see admin view uh, if tab is equal to dashboard okay let's go to the end here this is the else tab is users yeah let's just put an else for when it's none of those or dashboard yes yes let me do this boom dashboard there we go if it's dashboard we can do some queries so db is equal to new database so we can read from database and then run a query let's say query is equal to select um, we just need to count these things so i'll just say select count and say id it doesn't really matter what column name you put in there uh, from users yeah that's it we're not limiting our order by something something now i don't want the column name to be count id so i'll just put an alias as a total like that so that it, it's called total in the results then i'm going to say um, db query and then run that query then here it will be total users is equal to right and uh, there we go so if the result uh yeah you know what total users should be used later i just say my users and then say if my users actually this will always return a result so what I'll do is I'll say total users is equal to uh, wait wait uh -huh. my users zero because that would be the first uh, record and then total like that okay good so total users here copy and if i go to dashboard view i can put it right there we'll do that close that so let's see if we'll get an actual value now ah, there we go so in the same way we can do the same for total products And then total sales okay from the beginning of the website so it's up to you what values you want to add here but if we go back here we should do this for everything else so we'll duplicate this twice so select count all from products change that word to product like that mm -hmm total products mm -hmm. then here uh, sales right mm -hmm. total sales select count now total sales is a bit different so this one we just say select mm. wait some yes <laughs> I was trying to think some total like that as total from sales 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so total, total. There we go. So let's see if we get any errors. And there we go. So that's the total sales, total products, total users. So that's how you can make an actual dashboard there. Then you go to this, there are three users. So it is correct. You can make these links so that they link to the actual sales, but not really needed because we have this menu over here anyway. And then sales. Alrighty then. So that's that. And uh, let's put this in a container, mm -hmm. shall we?